For this lesson and the following lessons on simulation, we'll continue to use the FSAE steering wheel simulation file. In this lesson, we'll focus on establishing a load or a force on our part for simulation. On the toolbar, select the load dropdown and then select the structural load tool. There are multiple types of load we can select from the structural load dialog. For this first load, we will choose moment. For the target, we'll select the top face of the steering wheel plate. Once it's selected, zooming in will show us the same icon that we selected to place the moment as a visual cue to where this load has been applied. Once the target has been selected, additional options will appear. We can set the units to be Newton meters and set the load to be 10. There are also options for changing the direction the load is applied from. For this study, we will use the default option for the moment load. Switch to the home view, and then let's take a look at the browser. If I expand the load case, I can see the moment load that was applied. Gravity is always an option, but it is not automatically turned on, and we won't need it for this study. We'll save the file again, and move on to the next step. 